The morning session in Class A belonged to the two-time defending state champion Patriots. Millard South sent nine wrestlers to the semifinals, including last year's state runner-up at 106 pounds, Blake Jackson. The sophomore is moving on after two wins on day one. Jackson is joined by fellow Patriot sophomore Creighton Bauman, who picked up two pins on his way to the semis. It's awesome to see all the hard work we put in all year. It's awesome to see it pay off, and I love seeing my teammates win and be successful. Three unbeatens also taking care of business in the first two rounds. Two-time state champ Colton Wolf of Columbus pinning both his opponents to advance. Miller Norris DJ Coleman coming in with a perfect 35-0 record, making quick work in the quarterfinals with the pin. The Mustang senior well on his way to defending his state title at 160. You just got to keep the same mindset I have since last year. You know, you just got to keep grinding, keep pushing yourself to be better every match and just keep pushing yourself to the end to get that state title like I did last year. The third and final unbeaten entering today at 25-0 brooks Joey Harrison onto the semis looking for back-to-back -back state championships. Just like last year, coming here to do work, uh, hopefully get my second title this year. Let nobody come close to me. Harrison's fellow Bulldog and fellow state title holder, 145-pounder James Burks, moving on to day two despite an injured thumb. Meanwhile, Jack Huffman of Millard West is one win away from his second straight parade of champions. It's awesome. I just, I just love wrestling in front of a bunch of people, hanging out with my teammates during the tournament. It's really fun. And finally, after putting on more than 25 pounds, Central's Dax Galloway hopes to add on a little more weight with a gold medal performance this week. The senior was on to the final four at 152. So at the end of day one in Class A, it's Millard South in first at 89 and a half points, Carney in second trailing by 13, and Millard West in third down by more than 30. Reporting from the CenturyLink Center, Ben Stevens, KMTV Sports.